Hi, and welcome to our tutorial series to get you started on Test Monitor. These videos are designed to show you how to use the main features of Test Monitor, and will help you to set up your first test project. In this fourth video, we're going to plan milestones and test runs. Using a test run, you assign test cases to testers, making sure your tests are run by the right people at the right time. In Test Monitor, test runs are grouped into milestones. These help you mark important project events, like the release of a beta version or the completion of a user acceptance test. In the previous videos, we created test cases. Now we are going to assign these test cases to a user. Let's get started. First, click on the Plan menu item. You'll be taken to the Milestone Overview page. Create a milestone by clicking on the Add Milestone in the top right. A dialog box will appear. First, you'll have to select a milestone type. Pick one that suits best. You can customize these milestones types using the link in the help text. Next, you'll enter the name of the milestone and optionally, its description. The new milestone is now listed in the overview. To manage the test runs for a specific milestone, you click on the milestone title or the chevron button on the right. You'll be taken to the test run overview. Once there, you'll see two tabs. The test runs tab allows you to manage the test runs for this milestone. The Details tab allows you to edit the type, name, description, and date of the milestone. On the right, the Activity log will show you a list of every change made to this milestone, along with the user responsible and time of change. To delete this milestone, you can open the three-dot menu in the upper right-hand corner. Click on Delete Milestone and confirm your action. Once deleted, you'll be taken back to the Milestone Overview. Let's go ahead and add a test run. Click on the Add Test Run button in the top right corner. A wizard will appear that guides us through the process of creating a run. In the first step, you can enter the test run name, followed by the start and end date. Optionally, select an environment. You can manage these environments by clicking on the link in the help text below. The dates define the period the test run is available to the tester. These dates should lie before the milestone date, in case you specified one. At the next step, we are asked to select the test cases we want to assign. Click on the plus button to assign one. The minus button will unassign a test case. When you assign multiple test cases, you can reorder them when needed. Use the search field and filters to find specific test cases using their name or their properties. In the third step, we can assign users. Use the plus and minus buttons to assign one or more. Again, you can use the search and filter options to find a specific user. In the last step, you toggle priority for this run. A red arrow will be shown for runs that are prioritized. You can add test run subscribers as well. A subscriber will receive a notification once this test run is finished. When a test run depends on another run, this is a great way to keep testers up to date of each other's work. Once you save the test run, it will be displayed in the test run overview. To edit a test run, click on the code or the chevron button on the right hand side. This will show the detail page, containing all the properties and related objects for this test run. Editing is simple. When you hover over a field that's editable, a pencil icon will appear next to the field's value. Click on the field, update its value, and click the Save icon to update. You can delete the test run by opening the drop-down menu on the top right. In the menu, click on Delete and confirm your action. You'll be taken back to the overview once the test run has been deleted. You can use the sidebar in the Test Run Overview to quickly update a property or assign additional test cases or users. Click on the Test Run row in the Overview to reveal the sidebar. You can edit a field by clicking on the value, changing the input, and clicking on the Save icon to confirm the update. In the Overview, there are two features that make test run management easier. You can plan a rerun quickly by opening the drop-down menu next to the Chevron button. Click on Clone. A dialog box appears, allowing you to change the name of the test run as well as the start and end dates. Click the Clone button to confirm. The new test run will include the same test cases and assigned users. Instead of duplicating a single test run, you can also clone an entire milestone, including all its test runs. Open the three-dot menu located left of the Add Test Run button and click on Clone Milestone. In the dialog box, specify a new name, description, and date. When your current milestone is specified with a date, Test Monitor will automatically shift the dates of all test runs accordingly. For instance, if your current milestone ends today and your new milestone ends one month from now, all test runs are moved one month in the future as well.
click the Clone button to start the cloning action. As with the test case overview, multi-select is also available for test runs. There are convenient actions, like the option to extend the test run availability for a certain time. You can change more properties using the Update option. The Delete action will delete every test run you've selected. This concludes the fourth video in the series. In the next video, we are going to run a test. Thank you for watching, and happy testing!